Northside Radio presents Beyond Board, recommending the best in music, film, TV, games, and more for when you are Beyond Beyond Board. Hi, this is Garrett Goverton. Here at Beyond Board, I recommend you watch Regular Show, because it has such lovable characters and hilarious writing. If you like Rick and Morty, you will like Regular Show, because the animation style is very similar. And Regular Show is like a more kid-friendly version of Rick and Morty. Both have a similar comedy style. Be sure to check out Regular Show and get Beyond Board. Hi, this is DJ J. Flynn, and if you're Beyond Board, I recommend you watch the television show New Girl. I recommend you watch this show because it's hilarious and will quickly draw you into the world of Jess and the Boys in Apartment 4D. There are seven seasons filled with episodes that take you on a hilarious journey about growing up and falling in love. If you like The Office, I think you will also like New Girl because they are both make you laugh out loud, but they also have a heartfelt love story between two main characters. Be sure to check out New Girl and get beyond bored. Hi, this is Kalis, and if you were beyond bored, I recommend you read The River Between Us because it is a really good book. If you like to read and watch the old stuff, like Gone with the Wind, you will like to read The River Between Us because it goes back to when women were wearing those big, fancy dresses. Be sure to check out The River Between Us and get beyond bored. Hi, this is Bob Marshley. If you're beyond board, I recommend you listen to Lemonade by Internet Money and Kana. This is because the song is catchy and it has good lyrics. If you like Polo G, you will like this song because they are very similar in the types of lyrics they have in their songs and they both have the same type of upbeat energy. Be sure to check out Lemonade by Internet Money and Gunna and get beyond board. Hi, I'm Sarah. And I'm Isabel. And today we are going to be listing 10 family activities you could do for the holidays. Our first activity is decorating cookies. It's a really fun way to stay connected with your family and to be creative and just have some fun. The next thing on our list is to decorate gingerbread houses. This is such a fun thing to do and I highly recommend it. You can make it a competition with your whole family. I love decorating gingerbread houses. Did you do one yet this year? I did, did you? No, I didn't yet, but we're gonna be doing soon. Our next thing on the list is watching a holiday movie. It's a really fun way to relax with family and just watch a great movie. Our next thing on the list is to sing Christmas songs or just listen to them. It's a nice way to wind down after having classes on Zoom all day. What's your favorite holiday song? I really like Jingle Bells. <laughs> Same. The next thing on our list is Secret Santa. It's a really fun way to still do things with your family that you don't live with and just have some fun and safe during this holiday season. Yeah, another item, another thing on the list is White Elephant, which is about the same thing as Secret Santa. We also have making Christmas cards for people or Christmas ornaments. This is gonna, this is such a fun activity to do with your family and you can send these things to your family to help them decorate for the holidays. I always love getting cards and ornaments. The next thing on our list is decorating. You could decorate your house, your room, or even a tree. It's a really fun way to get in the holiday spirit. And the last thing on our list is looking at Christmas lights. You could either drive around, look at lights, and listen to music, or you could go to a place that has a drive through to listen to music and look at holiday lights this year. Thanks for listening. Bye. Hi, this is Cosmic. If you're beyond bored, I recommend you watch Impractical Jokers the movie because it is just like the show, but it has a plot. And if you like the TV show, then you will like the movie because it's exactly the same thing as the show, but with a plot and it has a good soundtrack. And be sure to check out Impractical Jokers the movie and get beyond bored. Hi. This is Max Rowe. If you are beyond bored, I recommend you watch the movie Office Space because it is a movie filled with humor, excitement, and it'll keep you on your toes. If you like Napoleon Dynamite, then you'll like the film Office Space because they are both similar films. Be sure to check out Office Space and get beyond bored.
Hi, this is DJ Ripper. If you are beyond board, I recommend you play Call of Duty Cold War because it brings back a lot of other Call of Duty games back in the day. It has a really great multiplayer that you can customize your different weapon classes with. It has a really, really fun zombies and also amazing campaign with one of the best storylines in my vision I have seen. If you like being competitive, you will like Call of Duty Cold War because many pro players are very hard to face at the beginning, but it takes a lot of time to master these skills and how to counter their moves. And all the challenges that you face in the beginning will be no more. Be sure to check out Call of Duty Cold War and get beyond board. Hi, this is DJ Alex, and if you are beyond board, I recommend you watch The Irishman. The reason why is because it tells a classic mob style movie. If you love The Departed, you will like The Irishman because they are both great mob movies with great acting and storytelling. Be sure to check out The Irishman and get beyond board. Hello, my name is Ashina, and today I'll be talking about the top 5 drama TV shows this fall. Starting off with The Vampire Diaries at number 1, you can watch this on Netflix. It is about a girl named Elena who falls in love with a vampire, his name is Stefan, once both of her parents die in a car crash. While both brothers, Stefan and Damon, try to protect her from the evil, the question comes down to does Elena actually have feelings for Damon instead of Stefan? Watch to find out, and it already has 8 seasons. Next up we have Stranger Things, you can also find this on Netflix, it's about a retro supernatural drama about a tween getting abducted by a monster called the Demogorgon. It's a D&D character, leading to more difficulties in upcoming seasons. The good news is, it already has 3 seasons, and the 4th one is on its way. Coming up at number 3 we have All American. It is on Netflix and the CW channel. It is based on a true story of a NFL player who is a Super Bowl champion, Spencer James. It has two seasons and it's going on its third. Coming up next we have On My Block. You can find this on Netflix. It's about four great friends who deal with the dangers of getting their friend out of a gang. It has three seasons and the fourth one is coming next. Lastly, we have Glee. It is also on Netflix, follows a high school with a competitive Glee team, hence the name of the show Glee, which acts as a safe haven for many outcasts, and it has six seasons. Hi, this is Robert. If you're beyond bored, I recommend you listen to the band TWRP. I say this because their music is unlike any other. If you like Synthwave, you will like TWRP because they take the 80s vision of the future and they turn it into music. Be sure to check out TWRP and get beyond board. Hi, this is Rylan. If you're beyond board, I recommend that you watch A Christmas Catch because it's an amazing Christmas movie about love. If you like the holiday calendar, you will like A Christmas Catch because they're both a love stories about two people who go through hardships but come out in the end stronger than ever. Be sure to check out A Christmas Catch and get beyond bored. Hi, this is Morgan Fox. If you are beyond bored, I recommend you listen to One Direction's album 4, because it is an upbeat album with songs of varying emotions and themes. They used a lot of guitar strumming and harmonies on this album, more so than they had done previously. If you like the Beatles, you will like One Direction, because they both are able to wow the audiences with their musical talents and keep them intrigued with their hit songs. But they also both started as teenagers trying to make a name for themselves. Be sure to check out One Direction's album 4 and get beyond bored. Hey everybody, this is Suzette, and today I'm going to be talking about my top 3 songs at the moment, and maybe you could check them out too if you're beyond bored. Coming at number 1, I have I Think by Tyler the Creator. It has a very upbeat and the lyrics take a whole new meaning once you take the time to listen to them and think them through. And Tyler the Creator is just an amazing artist, so why not appreciate his music right now? Um, next up is Hollywood's Bleeding by Post Malone. This has always been like a favorite of mine, but I feel like I stopped listening to it for a while and like now I'm listening to it again and it's very good. Um, it's just something different that he made for his new out for his past album and I just think it's always gonna be a classic for me. Next we have Fever by Dua Lipa, um, I usually never listen to Dua Lipa or like I'm, I've never gotten into her music but this song is very, like it's it's very um, upbeat and it also has like a, um, a nice meaning to it I guess and it also features a French artist um, so if you're interested in kind of like that duo language kind of music this would be good, this would be a good song for you. 
that's it for this segment. Stay tuned for next time. Bye. That is it for this episode. Be sure to come back for more recommendations when you are beyond bored. bored.